There you go. That's good. Apologies, apologies everyone. So look, we're presenting the Annie Houston Centre at uh, Fintana Girls School uh, this morning. Next one, thanks, Victoria. So this was a, a, a fabulously, uh, a wonderful project to be involved with. We had a, a visionary client uh, led by a new principal to the school. And the whole process really from the beginning right through to the delivery of the project was incredibly collaborative. The builder, the school, our team and our extended uh, consultant team. Um, it's a building for science, technology and mathematics and it's replacing um, a number of outmoded facilities on the, uh, on the campus and importantly, bringing them together uh, in a new purpose-built uh, building. Next one, thanks, Victoria. <coughs> and we were very conscious of the, uh, this very great privilege we were, we were given to design this building in what is a, uh, a, a heritage uh, campus. And if you know the Fintan campus with its wonderful gardens and the heritage Tormont building at its uh, center. So we were very sensitive to that uh, context. Next one. <coughs> And look, we started the, the design as we do with a series of uh, collaborative workshops with our clients. Um, so they were incredibly visionary. So they pushed us very hard as we did with, uh, with them to really deliver the very best facility possible uh, for the girls to engage in these uh, science, technology and mathematics uh, projects and, and design, which was another important part of the project. Next one. In addition to the uh, visionary visionary workshops, we ran uh, workshops around the program. So this looked at uh, actually drawing to scale for them. The proposed program for the buildings was a very helpful thing for all of the users to uh, uh, to see, and to design it in the most flexible way for their uh, for their future needs. Next one, <clears throat> and we did a lot of measuring up. Um, of their existing laboratories and uh, classrooms. And we often had the principal of the school holding the other end of the tape measure. So a, a truly collaborative and engaging process we, we were involved with. Next one. <coughs> and we looked at uh, mapping the functional relationships in the building too. So this was a way of really getting a handle on, uh, on the program for the building and how we make it, how we could make it uh, as, as optimizing the functionality of all of the spaces. Next one. And we presented some blocking and stacking diagrams. This was a really interesting workshop we had. You know, should the sciences be on one level and mathematics on another level, or alternatively on the next slide, uh, should they be uh, should they be mixed? And this is the one that the school enthusiastically uh, said we should pursue. This idea of fully integrated learning and, and therefore a fully integrated architectural response. Next one, <clears throat> and we made renderings of, uh, of these spaces, again, just to illustrate to the client uh, what the sizes and scale of these spaces might look like in, uh, in reality. Next one, <clears throat> they were very keen to know, as we were, what the uh, exterior of the building would, uh, would look like, and we presented four or five massing options all derived from ideas of science and mathematics. So this was a crystalline uh, uh, response. And uh, uh, the one that they, they all rallied around was the next one, which was uh, an idea of a curved, a curved building based on an idea of kind of biological uh, cell, cell structures. Um, and, uh, and they endorsed this uh, unanimously, uh, something that uh, was in their view very forward looking. Next one. <clears throat> so this is the uh, this is the plan of the building uh, sitting on its uh, site. It sits on the corner of Miller Road and Baldwin Road, um, and you can see the uh, the, uh, the curved uh, bounding structure of the uh, of the uh, of the facades and this uh, very organic uh, shape, uh, and fitted into that the uh, the programmatic elements that we uh, talked talked about uh, earlier. Next one. <clears throat> these are the uh, these are the floor plans on the left. The ground floor plan, which includes two lab uh, biology laboratories on the bottom end of the plan, uh, three classrooms, and uh, we've shown those in uh, different uh, different teaching modes. That was important that they could teach them in a round style <clears throat> or in traditional classroom style. 
and uh, the ground floor also includes the design studio, which is uh, their sort of maker's fab lab, um, which has been very well utilised since the building has been opened. And then on the right hand side, the first floor plan includes two chemistry laboratories on the bottom end of the plan there, uh, a chemistry uh, theory laboratory and two additional classrooms up the top end of the plan. And uh, on both levels, we have uh, small breakout spaces for the students to, uh, to, uh, to sit. But up on this upper level, a large collaborative area with a, uh, a really wonderful curved window where the students can sit along a long bench, like the longest bench we've ever designed. Uh, and they look out onto the gardens on, and to the uh, historic Tourmont building. Next one. <clears throat> they were very keen to, uh, to uh, um, give the building a, a definite Fintana DNA identity. And we, uh, here we converted their school song, which they sing every morning at assembly into a binary code. And the idea was we were gonna use brick, core brickwork to uh, spell out the school song around the building. And they love that as an idea. But the one we finally ended up with, which is on the next slide, prompted by the principal, who's a mathematics teacher. She had a, 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 a real affinity with, uh, with fractal algorithms. So we started with a, a fractal image such as this, which we then uh, uh, grew out, extrapolated that to the next one, thanks Victoria, <clears throat> into the hands top dimension. We learned all about fractals from the principal, which was very interesting. And then we did a very bizarre thing and we inserted the geometry of the curves of the building into this into this algorithm, into this computer program. And it came up with this extremely uh, bizarre, uh, which is the next slide, <clears throat> uh, image, which surprised us and the school. But the school loved it. And they said, well, this is something that's that's obviously uniquely fin Fintonian because it relates to the shape. One minute. Next one. Keep, keep flicking through these, uh, Victoria. So these were the uh, these were the images that we mapped onto the facade of the building. Here it is in the context of the uh, of the gardens, talking to the campus and the campus talking back to the building. Next one. <clears throat> Very polite to the street along Baldwin Road. Next one, thanks, Victoria. And we were we made sure we set it back from the street. And then we'll just go through the interiors in the last uh, the last uh, couple of minutes. Very big windows, as you can see, lots of light connecting to the gardens outside. This is the class, one of the classrooms with the principal taking her first class in the building. Next one. Uh, lockers that we integrated into the joinery, so rather than the metal ones sitting out in the corridors, um, fully integrated display spaces and so on. Next one. The central uh, design hub, next one. And the, uh, and the laboratories, just to move through these ones, Victoria. <clears throat> and a lot of work doing, doing mock-ups of those. And these uh, final couple of slides showing the uh, collaborative <clears throat> space on the top of the building with that long bench looking out onto Tourmont. And this final slide uh, illustrating that the building has very good environmental credentials, including this solar array on the, uh, on the roof. So thank you, Caitlin. I hope that's all done in time.